hello everyone um, welcome back to another awesome tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to cut out objects together with their shadow so for this to work you need um, an object on a solid background so if the object is not on a solid background this is going to be very difficult you might have to recreate the shadow yourself so without further ado let's jump right into it Obviously, the first thing you want to do is to get the image you're going to be working on or the image you want to cut out with the shadow. Now, the images I'm going to be using in this tutorial, I'm going to be linking them in the description, so be sure to check it out. I will also leave the PSD master file in the description as well. So if you want to follow along or see how we did it, you can always download that and check it out. Alright, the first thing you want to do is to make a selection of your object. Um, this is not a selection tutorial, so I'm not going to explain much about it. But just make a selection of this banana that we're going to be working on using any selection method that suits you well. So I'm going to be using the object selection. So this. So as I hover around my banana, you're going to see that it's going to automatically show me um, what is going to be selected. So let me just click that. Um, yeah, so I have a selection of my banana. So Photoshop AI did a pretty nice job. I think I'm okay with this. Now the next thing you want to do is, let's go back to our move tool. Make a copy of your reference picture. So let's hide this. Now with the copy that we need you create a layer mask now what a layer mask basically does is it takes the part that you want to hide and put it in a kind of closet it's still there but um, it's kind of hidden so you can still go along and bring some things back if you feel like there's anything that you need to bring back so let me just show you what i mean by that if I want to restore the solid color, the background that we need, just hold shift, click on your layer mask and it's back. Hold shift again, click on it and then it's out. So that's it. So now that we have our selection, the next thing is to take care of our shadow. How do you do that? First thing you want to do is go over to your lasso tool or any other selection tool you want to use, but the lasso tool works well for this. Now you have to note where your shadow is. So this is where our shadow falls. Now, when you're making a selection of your shadow, always give room so that you can be able to edit this properly. Now, let's make a selection of this. So this is where our shadow falls and a little bit of the object itself. So we have that now. Now we need, the reason we made this selection is because this is the only place we want to cut out. Now, going back to your reference picture, just hold control, and then click on J. It's going to just cut out that particular thing that we need. To see what we just did, hide this and then you have it. Alright, so the next thing you want to do now is to hide this white um, background. We only need the shadow. And from blending mode, we know that I'll just talk about this too. I won't really go into it. Multiply the, the group, in, uh, the multiply group. It hides anything white and then displays everything that is tending towards black. White screen does the opposite. It hides black and then displays white. So let's change this to multiply. You won't really see the effect. Let's just add a solid background. Um, solid color. Let's take something like this. All right. Now let's bring back our banana. And now we're seeing that we have our banana and our shadow already there. Now there's one more thing. If you zoom in properly, you will see that it has a little bit of an edge here that is visible. So to take care of that, all you need to do is let's zoom in a little bit. Add um, a levels or curves adjustment layer. Both of them work the same. So let's just go with levels of color. Anyway, you want to go with is still the same thing. Just 
drag this in a little bit but you can see it's affecting the background so you just click here to clip it let me show you it's going to clip it to just the shadow so any effect we are we are adding to this will only affect the shadow so you can see that when you drag this in a little bit watch it's gone and then we have just our shadow and our banana so let's not confuse this let's name this banana and then let's name this our shadow just double click to name it so that's it and then you've been able to um cut out your banana together with the background now let me show you something when you click on this select everything that has to do with the banana right click and then link layers the reason for this is if i let's undo if i don't link these layers if i click on my banana and i want to move it you can see it's going like um away from the shadow which is not what i want i want as i'm dragging this i will also include the shadow with it. so click on this click on the hold shift click on the last one and then right click link layers so anywhere I drag my banana to, I still have my shadows with it. So that's it. But this is on a white background. Now, how about a background that is not white in color? In the next section, I'll show you how it's done. All right, guys. So we're done with this. Um, let's just group it. Um, name it banana. Now, when you move this around, you can see you have your shadow with it so that's just it now um this is on a white background just like you said now let's try to do the same thing on a background that is not white the psd file of this will be linked in the description so, so if you want to download it and check what we did feel free to do that all right so this is um a poppy on i think a lime color background so this is not exactly white. We're going to do virtually the same thing we did here, but then um, we're going to add a little twist to it. Um, the first thing you want to do, just like the way we did, you have to make a selection of um, your subject. All right, let's zoom in. The best way to select this is using the um, lasso tool and then you refine the edges. Like I said, this is not a selection tutorial. so i won't be going into details but i'll just show you how it's done now just select this be sure to leave spaces there and then select a mask all right just select your brush let's increase the size and then you paint over it automatically it's going to remove the background now that we're done with that make sure this is ticked okay mine is already ticked so the contaminate color is going to refine the edges for you so that's all you have to do make sure this is ticked be sure to get the background completely off all right now that we have that now the next thing is to output to always select new i don't know for you but me i always select new layer with um layer mask so that I have the um, the subject and then I still have the background which is hidden in a layer mask. All right, so click OK. So now we have our puppy, sorry, Control D to deselect. We have our puppy on its own. Now the next thing to do is what? Your background. Now zoom in a little bit. The, using the lasso to make a selection of your shadow. Sorry, not background. Your shadow so the shadow extended to this place a little bit as you can see so make sure you take that into so this is where our shadow falls all right so make sure you're on the reference um, layer Control j on your keyboard or command j on your mac to um, cut out the parts that you selected so if you hide this this is what we have so just like what we did here you change the blend mode to multiply and then using your levels or curve adjustment layer you take care of the excess part 
we will still do the same thing here but note this is a green background so you have to desaturate it to turn towards white that is the only way you'll be able to get a flawless result selecting this next thing you have to do is come over to your image make sure the shadow layer is selected all right let's name it sorry and then you name this Okay. And make sure the shadow layer is selected. Come over to image adjustment and then hue and saturation. So just bring the saturation down. And then probably increase the lightness a little bit. Alright, I think this works for me. Now add a solid background color, just like the way we did. Uh, I think let me use this. Alright, I think this works for me. Now you change the shadow towards multiply. Okay, I think that's okay. Now bring back our puppy. Now we have our puppy and then we have um we have our shadow, but it does not look nice. So what do you do? You add either curves or levels. So the last one I only use level, I only use curves, sorry. So let me use, oh sorry, let me delete this. Let me use level so that you will see. It's basically the same thing. So this is to work on the brightness and this is the dark one. So it's just the same thing. If you use cost to, it's the same thing. But cost tend to um, give you a better result because it has an edge over levels. So let's just take away the levels and then switch back to curves. Let's take this both off. Now we have to create the curves adjustment layer. Make sure you clip it to your shadow layer and then decrease the bright side. Just like this till you start seeing it fade away a little bit. And then if you want, you can increase this the dark part. Uh, I think I'm okay with this. Can adjust it. So you see with the sliders you can adjust it. So this curves will give you more functionality. Okay. I think I'm okay with this. Nope. Alright, I think I'm very much okay with this. So you can see our shadow is already there. But if you zoom in, see we have those edges. So the best way to take care of this is just go over to your shadow because this is where we have our shadow. Go back to your shadow layer, create a, a layer mask, select your brush, zoom in. Now you can set the opacity maybe to I think 67 or 70, whichever works for you. Increase the size. The right bracket key is to increase. The left bracket key is to reduce. So make sure this is um, set to your layer mask. Then ensure that your foreground color is black because black is what we use to hide and then white to reduce. So just paint over this. all right so when you do that now the next thing to do is to link your layers please don't forget to do that so hold click on the first one hold shift click on the last one and then right click link layers now when you move your puppy what happens the shadow follows it so now you can move this to any background you can change the background color sorry so you can change the background color to whatever you want. Now you can see that we still have our shadow there. You notice we have some lines here. So this is just from the edge. You can clean it out. Go to your brush. Select the pop because this is where it is. You notice. Select the puppy um, layer mask and then just paint over it. It will take it off. Remember the master file for both um, 
the banana and the puppy will be linked in the description so be sure to download it and then check it out thank you all right if this video helped you if you found this video very useful um, be sure to subscribe leave a comment if you're confused anywhere and i'll reply um yeah so thank you very much for watching peace